Are you a photographer who wants to get into making some videos but couldn't justify paying for a pro app yet and find a free version of Resolve to be intimidating? Well then, this video is for you. I partnered up with Lenovo and Microsoft to bring you a free mini course on video editing for photographers. By the end of this video, you'll be able to make reels and TikToks to promote your business, share the behind the scenes of your photo shoots, and even create an educational course like what we're doing right now. We're gonna be using ClipChamp, which is a free and easy, but surprisingly powerful editing app that comes with Windows 11. And we're gonna be demonstrating everything on this Lenovo IdeaPad Pro 5i. This is spec'd out to be a great tool for creatives on the go. This has a 16 inch, 120 hertz display for easy viewing and playback of our edits. It comes with 16 gigabyte of memory, which is enough to do all of our photo processing. It even comes with a powerful NVIDIA RTX 3050 graphics card that sets you up to handle all the tools you need to create. It's also incredibly light considering what it packs. Just 4.3 pounds and it's super durable. Its built-in Lenovo AI engine can help extend the battery life up to 14 hours off charge, which is great if you often find yourself at a coffee shop, hammering some quick photo edits out, or even making Instagram reels. For more information about the IdeaPad Pro 5i with Windows 11, check out the link below. All right, so let's go ahead and open up ClipChamp and select Create My First Video. On the left side of the screen, we can click to import media or drag and drop stuff from the folder. If you use iCloud, you can use Microsoft Photos app to drag in photos and videos as well. It syncs with iCloud, and you can also organize them within the Microsoft Photos app. Pretty crazy for a Windows device to sync with Apple iCloud, am I right? Alternatively, you can also send files from your phone using the QR code here too. Once everything is imported, we're gonna determine the video format on the right right here. 16x9 for YouTube videos, 9x16 for Instagram reels and TikTok videos, 1 to 1 for Instagram posts and Facebook ads, I believe, and they even have 21x9 if you wanna make cinematic videos. Pretty neat. And they made this incredibly easy to switch back and forth mid-project. So let's say, for example, you built a horizontal YouTube cut, but then you decide to make a vertical TikTok version. What you can do is duplicate the project and come back here to select 9x16 and refit everything into a vertical format. Now, before we tackle some sample projects, I do want to clarify with the free version of ClipChamp, you can only export up to 1080p, which is honestly good enough for mobile viewing. TikTok and Instagram Reels actually cap you at 1080p anyway. If you decide you really like the app, you can upgrade to be able to export 4K videos, which is more beneficial for YouTube and big screen viewing. With the paid version, you also get premium stock footage, better graphics, sound effects, and cooler music to use, but they're not necessary. We'll be sourcing a lot of that on our own. So once again, 1080p HD export is good enough. For our first project, we'll create a standard horizontal YouTube video. And this is great for sharing behind the scenes of your photo shoot or creating a promo for your business. Over on the media window, I have already imported my talking head A roll, some on location B roll of me in action, and the photos that I'll be sharing. We'll drag in the talking head A roll in the timeline, we'll play back the video, use the S key to split the clip, and remove all the pauses and flubs. You can also use the arrow key on your keyboard to move frame by frame for finer cuts. Now we will add the corresponding B roll and photos above the A roll. Pretty easy, right? Now, you'll notice on the left panel that we have some extra tools. There are free royalty-free music and sound effects built in. If you're making a YouTube video, YouTube also has a library of music that you can download and use and still be able to monetize your video. But the license will only be applicable to uploading on YouTube only. Moving on, there are quite a few free transitions that you can apply between takes, and they honestly look really good. There are also some free title templates. There's even a collection for YouTube, and they look 1,000 times better than most of the default title actions that I've seen in other pro editing softwares. Now, let's say for example, you wanna answer a comment from a viewer or even source a text from a website. You can use the snipping tool to record or snip the comment and add it to your video. And I love using a snipping tool like this to engage with my viewers. To add a bit of production value, you can use the text-to-speech to read the comment out loud so it feels like you got a voice message sent in. Can you do a follow-up video about your experience with the camera? Thanks. The possibilities are endless here. Like quite literally, they even have a built-in green screen keyer, so if you have a green screen, you can use this effect to easily key yourself out and make fun videos like what I did for our everyday carry camera review. And that's thanks to its ability to simulate classic film. Like film film. Like your granddaddy's film. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about TikToks and Reels. For format, we'll switch over to 9x16. Now, some of you might ask, why not just edit on a phone with their built-in app? You absolutely can. However, if you're like me, my eyesight is going out, my finger tapping accuracy is just not what it used to be, 
editing on a bigger screen, like on the IdeaPad Pro 5i, just makes my life a lot easier. The preview window here is nearly as big as my phone, but all the tools I need are around, so I never have to travel too far for them. When it comes to TikToks and Reels, trending audio is important. Those are the background music or sound that you see on the bottom of the screen, and if it's popular, it's usually denoted by an up arrow lightning sign. Now, trends are fun, and that's how these platforms will promote your videos to a wider user base for more exposure. Not to say original audio won't do well. I have a handful that went viral just using my own audio, but for the purpose of this section, we're gonna cut together something and ride the trending audio wave. First off, find a trending audio and download it, or record the reel on your phone and send it to your computer. Import it in and listen for the beats. With the S key, we're gonna split the audio where we want the cut to happen. Now we just have to drop in our clips in the timeline and edit to the beat. Now, when you upload, you want to make sure that you select the same trending audio and mute your audio. And since we cut it to the beat, it should match it perfectly. All right, moving on. Let's say, for example, you have a lot of horizontal videos, but you still want to make a vertical cut. You could reframe them to fit the viewing space, or you can create a three frame. There's a pre-made one for you under the TikTok template section. A lot of people ask me how I made these lens meets location reels, and this is how. And finally, auto captions. Say, for example, you decide to do some narration in your video, but also want to make it so people can watch it even without audio, you can turn on auto caption. It's available in the free version, with a couple of clicks over in the top right corner here, it will generate text and overlay in your video. You can change the position, the style, and the size at this time only, but it's enough to make your video slightly more engaging. So hopefully this has sparked some motivation for you to start making videos of your own. Once again, thank you Lenovo and Microsoft for sponsoring this helpful resource. For more information about the IdeaPad Pro 5i with Windows 11 and how the free tools found within them can help your photography journey, check out the link below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.